Okay, guys, this is an updated version of download and install the mumble. Um, here you have three choices here. You have download Windows client, download Mac, or download for Linux. Now, here I'm on a Windows machine, so I'm going to click on the download client version. And this will prompt me down here to get my download going. Now, depending on your machine, depending on how long your download might take, we're going to click on it and we're going to install yes. Now, I will put a uh, link to that. Um, I will put a link to that um, download in the description of this video. So you'll be able to go to there. Now, like I say, depending on your browser, the download part will be different. Now, here you can apply skin or uh, skin files. I don't do either. Um, basically, that just gives a different outlook on the mumble um, window that you see. Uh, it turns it blue and stuff. I don't do them. Um, you can if you wish. You can always go back and install them later. So now that we've done that, we're going to hit install. And this may take a few minutes depending on your computer. Um, don't mind the bird in the background. Um, now we're going to hit the mumble setup wizard. So we're going to hit next. Now here you have a check mark. You got to accept the um, license terms. And it'll turn this one to where you can hit next. Now on this one here, this is a custom setup. Really don't need to do anything here other than hit next because you're a client. The server stuff doesn't pertain to you. Okay, now we're going to hit install on this window. But yeah, I wanted to do this version because the other one was screenshots. And this one, you can kind of follow my cursor around a little bit and maybe get a better idea. And like I say, they changed the looks of it just a little bit on the download. <clears throat> Birds over there flopping around and having a good time. But anyway, guys, you need to come on in and try the mumble room out. Um, there's a bunch of good guys in there. It's open 24 seven. Um, Sundays is usually when we're in there, um, Sunday evenings, but there's people all over the world and that time's not good for them. So if someone wanted to decide what would be a good time for, um, the guys across the water there, um, you know, you guys, could just say you know we'll meet at a certain time that's convenient for you and who can intermix between the two rooms can go i mean we don't have to have just the one one time okay now here to start uh, mumble there's a box right here i want to click that because i want the mumble to start okay then i'll hit finish And then we'll hit close. It means it completed successfully. Sorry about rambling on there, guys, but um, I just like to see everybody be able to use the mumble room. Now, there again, this is not one of my faster computers, so um, all this time will vary depending on your computer. Okay, now, welcome to the Mumble Audio Wizard, all right? Now, we're going to connect, we're going to hit next on this. And here is where we're getting an echo. So this is the input device, and this is the speakers. Now, I'm going to click the drop down, and I'm going to hit my headset. Okay, now that'll stop all your echo in your hearing. Now, the default device um, you can use, or you can come down here and select one of them. Now, in this case, I'm going to use the um, headset. Okay. Now, I'm going to use echo cancellation. All right. So now, since we have since we have selected the input device and the output device that you're going to use on here, we'll hit next. Now, 
these, if you want to use a headphone, you can. If you want to use a, a webcam microphone or whatever, you just have to pick whichever one here that you want. Like you say here, I or like you see, I put headphone, microphone, and the headphone. Okay. Now this is your um, codex. It says uh, change the slider to the lowest value that gives no interruptions or jitter in the sound. So you're going to want to slide this down here, and you're going to want to go down until you listen to what they're saying. And if you don't hear nothing, um, then you're okay. So we're going to leave it right there and go to next. Now here, if you notice the blue is like what I call the background noise. The green is my voice. And when I'm over in the red, I'm actually over modulating. Now I like to take the slider and, and when I'm talking, slide it up a little bit. That way I, you don't want to get too high because the lows of your voice will be cut off. But if you raise this a little bit, that'll help a lot of the background noise from coming into your um, team speak room. Next. Now here's an important one. And we like you to do push to talk. Okay, so go up here and hit the push to talk button. Now that means you need a button to push to talk. So um, pick a button on your keyboard that you don't use very often um, for that because you don't want to be typing and keep clicking the button while you're in the room. The right control button is what I like to use. So we're going to move up to this window and we're going to hit the, or click on it and you'll see it says press short. Sorry, press shortcut. So I'm going to hit the right control button now. And it shows me that I've selected the right control button and I'm pushed to talk. That means that I won't be heard unless I push the right control button to talk. Then we'll hit next. Now here, this is the quality settings. Now, if you have a really, really low bandwidth, um, basically dial up or whatever, um, you can click on low. 99% of us are going to want to stay on the balanced. It'll kind of adjust a little bit itself. Text to speech. Now, I leave this on because if someone goes in the room and they text, you'll hear it. So now we'll hit next. Here is an example of um, the sound. If you're using your regular speakers, you can go ahead and hit next if you hear it rotating. See how this little thing's going around? The sound moves from speaker to speaker with that in the stereo fashion. Now we can use headphones, okay, and that'll tune it to your headphones automatically. If you're not using headphones, do not check that. Now we're going to hit next. Um, submit anonymous um, statistics to Mumble Project, that's up to you. Um, you can or cannot. If you do submit them and there is bugs, it will help them work it out. Now I added this screen in here because I uninstalled Mumble and reinstalled it and I didn't get this screen when I was doing the video. But I believe at this point you'll get this screen here that says automatic certificate creation will be checked. That's the one you want to check. Um, as long as it's checked, you come down here and you'll hit next and then continue on. Screen here. And mumble. But unfortunately, the YouTube garage room is not pre-listed in here, okay? So, if you're watching this and wanting to connect to the Garage Gang room, you have been sent some information. Um, and if you haven't been, you can contact me or Hanson at 265 Chevy, and we can give you the details of login. Now, seeing as how we're not already preset in here, we got to go down here to add new. And this tab right here. Click on it. Now, the label. This label is whatever you want to call it i call it youtube garage okay and that way it'll bring youtube garage into this list and if i ever need to come into the um servers looking for a server name to hook to i will know that my youtube garage is it okay now the address, in this blank, you will um, give the address that 
or you will type in the address that was given to you and it does start with a V okay I'm not going to put it on in the screen here now this is the wrong port number you was also given a port number so you click behind that and you hit the backspace and remove that all right now you will enter your new port name okay or number username preferably your YouTube name okay this gives us a chance to know who you are by your YouTube name because that's probably who we know you by okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to fill in the address for the server okay which will be given to you um, once you fill that in you're going to want to hit OK. And once I fill that in and hit OK, I'll be right back. All right. I added the um, name in that line. I hit OK. And it brings me to this page. Now, once you've done that, see, now it adds the YouTube garage into your um, list of servers. So now we can hit connect. Okay. Now we should be connecting into the room. Oh no. Rejected. Invalid. Server password. The password's wrong. Okay. You will get this every time the first time you do it. If you notice, the info you got also contained a password. Okay. This password is to get on the server. It is a set password. You have to use the password given to you. You cannot make your own up or anything like that. Um, you just have to use the password that was given to you. So you got to type that password in here and then hit OK. Once again, I'm going to pause the video, type the password in, and I'll be right back. Okay, now we are connected to the room. All right. Um, there's nobody in here right now other than me. But here I am. Now, if you notice, when I hit the control button, watch the set of lips right here. Now, when they're red, that means we should be um, communicating with people. And when you let off of the button, they are no longer red. All right. Now, if I want to get out of the server, I hit close. Okay. The next time I want to open it up, we'll open Mumble up again. Um... If you have more than one mumble um, room you go to, they'll be listed here, and you click the one you want to. On this computer, I've only got this one on there, um, which most of you probably will only have the one. It's already highlighted, so once this page comes up, all you do is hit connect, and from then on out, that's all you got to do, and you're into the room, okay? So... Um, that should get you into the mumble room. If you do need any help, you can always contact um, Hanson or I at 265 Chevy or I'm WTBM123. Um, hope this video helps. Have fun in the mumble room. Please come and join. Thanks for watching.